most enthusiastic teacher on this campus. Do you believe that helps with your teaching? Uh, I don't know that everybody would agree that I'm the most enthusiastic. I mean, there's a lot of people that are more enthusiastic than I am. But yeah, that's who I am. That's, that's how I teach. This is what I want. I want the, the students, you guys, to be enthusiastic. I, I always tell everybody to bring 100%. I mean, to me, that's, that's the way you teach. And that's the way I learn. I like to learn when I'm excited about something. And uh, you guys are not always excited about what I bring because, you know, not everybody wants to have history or government class. And so I have to, to try to energize a little bit. And am I always in a good mood, which is kind of like a, a question hanging out there? It, pretty much, you know, pretty much I'm always in a good mood. I mean, it takes a lot to knock me off of a, of a good mood. You've, uh, speaking of your teaching methods, you've taught here when we didn't have Common Core and now you're teaching here with Common Core. Uh, can right. you give us an opinion on the integration of Common Core in the school system? Well, I, I've been teaching for a long time. I know you guys think I'm young because I am. But I've been around the block a number of times, and I've seen this stuff come and go. I've seen uh, Common Core or, God, I can't even remember all the names that we used to give these things. Uh, but standards-based education, um, every, always, there's always something new coming down the pike. And this is the new flavor of the month, and uh, I just happen to like ice cream. So, you know what, 31 flavors, I guess I'm on 25 to 25th flavor now of my career. Uh, this is another flavor. Uh, I don't see a lot of difference. I don't see a lot of change. I don't see a lot of like something new. Um, teaching and education is about thinking and it's about critically thinking and it's about discussing big ideas and learning new things and being excited and, and uh, remembering maybe some of the big picture. Uh, so if you want to call it Common Core, I'm all in. If you want to call it No Child Left Behind, I'm all in. If you want to call it Race to the Top, I'm all in. If you want to call it, uh, you know, I don't know, next year might be Uncommon Core. Think about that. Change the name from Common, common Core to Uncommonly Good Core. Elias, am I right? Core. It's all about the core. It's true. So, there we go. Since you teach teenagers, do you witness or believe all the negative stereotypes about them to be true? I have never thought the stereotypes about kids were true, ever. I, I started my career as a substitute teacher in South Central Los Angeles. I mean, let me tell you, that was a great training ground. And I saw great kids and I saw, uh, you know, kids really trying to do well and um, I, I've always said that there's no such thing as the good old days. The good old days are today and tomorrow. And kids today are just as great as we were. Now, of course, my life was a little different because I had to walk uphill both ways to school. I walked uphill to school in the cold snow barefoot, a uh, warm potato in my hand to keep me warm, ate it for lunch, and then walked uphill to home. We were, you know, always moving and so forth. And, you never had it as, and your parents tell you the same stupid stories, you know. You don't know what trouble is. Yeah, you do. I think you guys do get trouble. You know what trouble is. You guys are great. You're going to be wonderful adults, and you're going to promise me not to talk smack about kids when you get old. you got to promise that. All right. Um, I'm glad that you brought up your uh, former teaching experience in uh, LA Unified. Mm -hmm. So um, the next question is, uh, did you teach the same way here that you taught over there? I don't, I try not to teach the same way every year. I try to have something brand new every year. Um, I, I still remember the very first teaching assignment I had. Uh, it, oddly enough, it was at Bell High School and Mr. Phillips father was teaching there, unbeknownst to me, of course. And, it, and so when I told him the story about, yeah, I remember going to Bell High School, Bob Phillips said, my dad taught there. And I mean, these are strange connections between here and, and my career. And I remember that day. I remember teaching as a student teacher, just being terrified as a student teacher. But, but at the core of it, it was, I was still me and, and was still about engaging and talking with kids and, 
and learning from, from you guys. I learn as much from you. Honestly, I do. I know it sounds pretty trite, but I really do. Um, but uh, the, the connections between past and the, and the present are, are strong. Yeah, I can't change who I am. The La Cunada Unified School District is a sharp contrast between LA Unified. What do you believe is the most harmful difference between the two? I don't think it's fair to compare La Cunada to the whole of Los Angeles Unified. I, I think that'd be an unfair comparison. Um, if you compare schools, you can find great kids in every school, and you can find uh, horrible things in every school. Uh, and you can find, I mean, there's a, the undercurrent of some of the challenges right here at this school. There are plenty of challenges about uh, living up to expectations and so forth. Um, but as a district, I love working for this district. It's a very small district. I love being able to, if I wanted to, to call Wendy and say, hey, you know, there's something going on here, I think she would, she would take that phone call. And she wouldn't mind that I called her Wendy. Uh, I, I don't know that I could have done that in Los Angeles Unified. I think with Ramon Cortinas, I do know that he used to give his cell phone number out and he invited people to give him a call. I'm, well, I'm one teacher out of f however many thousand teachers there were. Uh, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing it, but I'm one of just, you know, 100 plus in this entire district. And it's a very high-end community and it's, you guys have books on the shelves at home and prenatal care and all those other things that go into who you are. So you bring a lot of things, a lot of advantages to the school, but that's also true in Los Angeles Unified or San Marino, God forbid, but yeah, they actually, you know, have pretty good, pretty decent <laughs> school district. Um, so the, the question, there really is no comparison. There are comparisons between schools though.